Hey, it's Mrs. Golding. I'm on problem number four on, you know what? This might not be page 582 anymore. I think this is page 583. Um, yeah, so page 583, um, number four. This is in section 8.1. So for this problem, I think these problems are harder when you're given the Y or the output, and then you're asked to work backwards to the input. I think when you're given the input and you just put it in and and um, do the operations, that seems to make more sense to my students. So I'm going to do this problem, which is a backwards version, okay? So we know that the output is 18 when we do this to the X value or the input. So we're going to undo it using inverse operations, and we're going to go in reverse order from order of operations. So order of operations says we multiply first and then add. We're going to just go backwards. So we're going to do the inverse of subtract of at adding four. And so we're going to first subtract four. So our new function is going to look like this. It's our output y and we're going to subtract four. And then we're going to undo multiplication and instead we're going to divide by two. Okay, so what's our input? 18 minus 4, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14 equals 14 divided by 2, and that's 7. Okay, now if you put that back in, you can see that'll work. 7 times 2 is 14 plus 4 is 18. So again, we're going to plug in our output minus 4 divided by 2. And 22 minus 4, 21, 20, 19, 18 divided by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Okay. And then 34. Wow, that was not even close to a 3. 34, which is my y value, minus 4 divided by 2. So 34 minus 4 is 30. Divided by 2 is 15. Okay. So my input here is 15. Okay, so hopefully those inverse operations and working backwards is helpful to you. And again, you can always plug them back in to check it. 15 times 2 is 30, plus 4 is 34. 9 times 2 is 18, plus 4 is 22. All right, hopefully that helps you make some sense of that working backwards. All right.